Good day traders, Adrian here from Tradeology and today I want to cover the MACD and a short method on how to trade it. So let's just have a look and see what is the MACD. Now the MACD is a technical analysis tool and a very popular one. MACD is an acronym for Moving Average, Convergence and Divergence. It is frequently used in forex trading and is evolved into different looking versions essentially, even though all are essentially the same. The MACD was first developed by a chap called Gerald Apple in the late 70s. Since then, it has spread to become the staple of technical analysis. It has become famous because of its ability to reliably spot and highlight the momentum of short-term trends. The MACD is a centralized oscillator indicator. In other words, its calculated value oscillates back and forth around the central value of zero. In order to understand how the MACD works, it would be helpful to take a brief look at the moving averages first. Now, you'll see in an image that we have a 12 EMA and a 26 EMA on the chart. Note that in the price move, a bearish crossover of the EMAs, the faster EMA moving below the slower EMA, takes place. This indicates that price is moving down more rapidly than it was doing in the past. Also note, that as the momentum of the downward trend rises, the two EMAs move further apart or diverge. And as the momentum dies, the EMAs converge. It is this divergence and convergence that the MACD exploits. Now, let's have a look at the construction of the MACD. It's comprised of three different parameters. A MACD line, a signal line or average line, and the difference or divergence. Now, a fast EMA and a slow EMA of the price are calculated to begin with. The most frequent ones used are the 12 period EMA and the 26 period EMA. The difference between these two EMAs is plotted as the MACD line. The MACD line is positive when the 12 EMA of the price is above the 26 EMA. And the MACD line is negative or below zero when the 26 EMA is above the 12. An EMA of the MACD line is calculated. This is essentially the average difference between the slow and the fast EMA of the price. The line is plotted on top the MACD line and is known as the signal line. Usually a nine period EMA is used here. The difference at all points between the already plotted MACD line and the signal line is then calculated. This difference is represented as a histogram on the chart. When the MACD line is above the signal line, the histogram is positive. And when the MACD line is below the signal line, the histogram is negative. Because MACD uses moving averages in calculation, it is a lagging indicator. However, it is not as slow as moving averages because a crossover can be predicted in advance or anticipated by taking note of convergence between the MACD line and the signal line. Now, it has various uses. The MACD, as stated earlier, is a lagging indicator. However, because it uses derivatives of the price EMAs and not the actual price EMAs, it signals tend to come faster than those from other lagging indicators. The MACD can show the trend of the price, the trend's movement, start or end of new trends, and even anticipate trend reversals following divergence between its signals and the price movements. It usually is used alongside another indicator. Pairing the MACD with two moving averages overlaid on the chart is very common. However, it can also work well with other leading indicators such as the RSI. The MACD in itself is considered to be one of the most reliable indicators. Some traders even trade by simply analyzing chart patterns and the MACD along with sparsely used technical tools such as trend lines and support and resistance levels. Now, in its application, the MACD is very versatile and is so common that traders have found ways to incorporate it into almost every trading system. There are several ways in which the MACD can be analyzed to understand what the market is currently doing and take the right position. Now, we can discuss some techniques which you can use if you want to decide to utilize the MACD in your technical analysis. Let's have a look at the center line. This is one of the simpler ways in which the MACD can be used. It has already been briefly mentioned that two moving averages of fast and slow can be used to determine the trend of the market. If the fast moving average is above the slower, the trend is an uptrend. If the faster moving average is below the slower, the trend is a downtrend. Also, if the two price EMAs are diverging or moving apart, the trend momentum is increasing. 
If the two price EMAs are converging or moving towards each other, the trend momentum is decreasing. This can be displayed all at once with the MACD line, which is simply the difference between the faster EMA and the slower. Therefore, when the faster EMA is above, the MACD line will be above the center's zero line, and vice versa. When the two EMAs cross over and are equal, the MACD line will intersect with the center zero line. To state it more concisely, a positive MACD line indicates an uptrend and a buy opportunity, and vice versa for a negative line. Now in the next image, you'll note how the highlighted crossovers between the 12 EMA red and the 26 EMA blue of the price coincide with the intersection of the MACD line with the center zero line. So on the left of the image, you'll see that the bullish crossover moves that the MACD line moves above the zero line. And in the center, we have an EMA convergence. The MACD line is close to zero. And with the bearish crossover, the MACD line is below zero. The same is true during the downtrend. The advantage of using the center line technique with the MACD is that it is very easy to interpret and can be used to get the idea that the trend is heading in a certain direction with just a glance. Let's have a look at the MACD trade signal. There is another way, a more common way, in which the MACD is used with its full faculties. The MACD signal line, sometimes also known as the trigger line, is used to signal the start of a new trend or a trend reversal. There are two kinds of MACD signal line, a MACD line crossover that you are looking for with this technique. A bearish crossover occurs when the MACD signal line moves above the MACD line, or it corresponds with a negative histogram. A bullish crossover occurs when the MACD signal line moves below the MACD line. This corresponds with a positive histogram. Note that both the MACD signal line and the MACD line are EMAs, but not of the price. The signal line is a 9-period EMA of the MACD line. Thus, it is a slower moving and smoother than the MACD line itself. So, in the image, a standard MACD with parameters 12, 26 and 9 is applied on a 1-hour Euro USD chart. Along with this, a 12 EMA and 26 EMA of the price are plotted for reference. You can see that at the beginning of the sharp downtrend, there was a bearish EMA crossover, which coincided with a bearish MACD crossover. The histogram became negative, the MACD line moved below the zero line. As the downtrend continued, the move gathered momentum and the MACD histogram continued to form new lows indicated by red histogram bars. As the downtrend move ended, we see a bullish MACD crossover. The MACD line moved above the signal line and the histogram became positive. This was a trend reversal. Note that even though MACD is classified as a lagging indicator, in this case it anticipated the trend reversal before classic lagging indicators, such as the moving averages. Now, the MACD is often combined with the leading indicator, as I mentioned, and used in a manner to confirm a trend. Now, here's another example of the MACD crossovers, which generally precede EMA crossovers on a one hour USD CHF chart. You can see bearish move on the left, bullish crossover in the middle, and a bearish one to the right. Let's have a look at divergence. The so divergence is another signal that traders commonly keep a lookout for, but is generally employed by experienced traders. The MACD divergence is a divergence between the signals we get from the MACD and the price charts. The MACD histogram is used to spot a divergence. A divergence occurs when the MACD histograms form higher highs or lower lows, but the price does not, or if the MACD histogram doesn't form high highs or low lows, but the price does. This is a discrepancy between the price movement and the movement's momentum. Divergence can be used to anticipate a trend reversal. So in the image, we can see that price on the left continues to move upwards, despite the fact that the MACD histogram fails to make higher highs. This indicates that the price momentum is faltering, but it is still clearly moving up. The anticipated downward move eventually comes. A lot of times, price can continue to make a few high pushes upwards and test the momentum before changing direction. This frequently stops our traders who try to profit from divergence. A good safeguard against this is to enter a partial position upon spotting a divergence and only commit to the trade fully when you confirmed a trend reversal, which in this case happens when or as soon after the divergence with a bearish crossover of the price EMAs. Now let's have a look at another example of MACD price divergence. Here the price consistently made higher highs 
while the MACD histogram made lower lows. A dying momentum while the price continues its trend is the sign of a possible trend reversal. The downtrend continues on for a while after the market reverses. A good place to enter the market here would be at the EMA crossover, which confirms that the uptrend has ended. The EMAs are lagging indicators, and this is why some of the downtrend, which could have been capitalized on, has been lost. MACD divergence can also be used with the leading indicators such as the RSI to confirm the anticipated trend changes more quickly. Of course, using a leading indicator will increase the risk of the trades. In effect, trading a divergence is like calling a bluff between the price and its lack of momentum. There is potential to be wrong. Most traders will stop the trade out if the MACD histogram forms a higher high during a negative divergence or a low low during a positive divergence, indicating that the trade was wrong and the price still has the momentum and strength to continue its trend. So, in summary, the MACD is a very versatile, reliable and useful lagging indicator which is used by almost every forex trader. The MACD itself consists of three parameters and is a derivative of two price moving averages. We have the MACD line, which is the difference between the 12 EMA of the price and the 26 EMA of the price, the signal line, a nine period EMA of the MACD line, the difference histogram, the difference between the MACD line and the signal line plotted as a histogram. The indicator has a mean center line at zero around which the histogram oscillates. When the MACD line is above zero, the 12 EMA is higher than the 26 and vice versa. Therefore, the MACD line and its position relative to the center can be used to get an idea of the trend quite quickly. Generally, a trade signal is taken from the MACD when the MACD line and the signal line intersect. When the MACD line is on the top, it is a bearish signal or trend and vice versa. The bullish or bearish crossovers of the MACD and the signal line can often predict trend reversals very accurately. Experienced traders also keep an eye out for divergences, which is a discrepancy between the MACD signal lines and the price movement. The MACD histogram indicates the strength of the move of the momentum. When the histogram fails to make high highs or low lows, the strength of the trend is fading and is likely to end. Sometimes the price can continue its trend while this happens. This is a divergence and it foreshadows a trend reversal. It's advisable to use a secondary indicator when trading divergences and committing to it when the trend change is confirmed. The MACD is one of the most popular indicators and there is reason it has become so famous. Of course, no indicator can predict the market 100% of the time, but use of the MACD should give you a better understanding of the market moves and support your technical analysis. Thanks again for watching and please remember to subscribe to our channel below to receive notifications so whenever a new video is released you don't miss any and again for a free system also check out our link in that description below.